in this video we will be discussing objective 2 from uh, HCVMA for photoelectric effect and dual nature of matter. So let's start with question number 1. When the intensity of a light source is increased, uh, we can say the number of photons emitted by the source in unit time also increases. Obviously intensity means energy per unit area. So we can increase the number of photons falling per unit area and total energy of photons will also increase but when we are saying intensity of light we mean that we are keeping the wavelength same we are not changing the type of light so wavelength is same and n is increased hence the energy per unit time also increases and we have two correct options which are a and b in the next question the photoelectric effect supports quantum nature of light because and uh, these are the options there is minimum frequency below which no photoelectric effect emitted yes this is the right because uh, if frequency is less than that there is no photoelectric effect takes place so this statement supports quantum nature of light the next statement is the maximum Ke of photoelectron depends only on the frequency but not on its intensity. Yes, obviously the statement also supports quantum nature of light because uh, if we change the intensity, maximum Ke remains same. So that depends on the energy of a single photon, so which is just a function of frequency not of intensity and in the C even when the metal surface is faintly illuminated the photoelectrons leave the surface immediately yes this statement is also correct no matter what intensity is there is no time lag between uh, emission of photoelectrons and incidence of light the electric charge of photoelectrons is quantized no there is no charge on photo oh, sorry uh, there is charge uh, e charge on photoelectrons but the quantization of charge has no relation with photoelectric effect so option d will not be the case and we have three correct options a b and c in third question a photon of energy h mu is absorbed by a free electron of metal having work function phi which is uh, less than h mu h mu is the energy of the photon which are falling on the metal surface and work function is phi okay so the electron is sure to come out let's uh, see that if an uh, electron uh, if a photon falls on the surface uh, it loses some energy in the form of work function because it has to take out the electron and there may be some other losses also so that will be the remaining ke of an electron but it is not necessary that whenever a photon having higher energy than the work function falls it must eject uh, the number of electrons in fact only a small percentage of incident photons having uh, energy greater than the threshold energy required are able to eject photoelectrons so statement a is not correct the electron is sure to come out with a ke of this again this is the maximum ke with which an electron can eject it so this will not be the ke of every electron that is coming out Again, option uh, C says either the electron does not come out or it come out with a K with this. No, mm, it may come out. Yes, option uh, it may come out with a kinetic energy less than that. So we have only uh, option D which is correct. So there is a single option correct uh, which is D. In the next question, if a wavelength of light in an experiment on photoelectric effect is doubled the photoelectric emission will not take place uh, if the uh, wavelength is doubled obviously the tendency of photoelectric effect will decrease but it will stop only when uh, 
by doubling the wavelength it becomes more than the wavelength uh, of threshold okay so if it is still less than the threshold wavelength the uh, photoelectric effect will still take place so you can say photoelectric emission will not take place it's not sure so option a is wrong the photoelectric effect uh, emission may or may not take place yes the statement b is correct the stopping potential will increase or it will decrease as the energy of incident photon is decreased by doubling the wavelength we can say that um, kinetic energy of an electron which ejects with the maximum k will also decrease hence the stopping potential will decrease so option b and d are the only correct option in this question in the next question the photo current in an experiment on photoelectric effect increases if intensity of the source is increased obviously yes exposure time is increased okay so we can say that uh, to control photo current i intensity is the only factor which controls photo current so by increasing intensity we can increase the photo current but uh, exposure time is independent or photo current is independent of exposure time the intensity of source is decreased no the exposure time decreases no again the only correct factor uh, answer is a in the next question there is a collector plate the collector plate in an experiment on photoelectric effect is capped vertically above the uh, emitter plate the light source is put on and a saturation photo current is recorded an electric field an additional electric field is switched on which has a vertical downward direction so what will happen to the uh, photo current so and a kinetic energy of electron the stopping potential and threshold wavelength so let's look at the solution uh, this is the emitting plate and uh, there is an electron which is ejected and it reaches the other plate okay so uh, by applying an additional electric field we are supporting the electron to reach at this point but as the situation is saturation saturation is the situation when all the ejected electrons reaches the other plate so no matter uh, all the electrons which are ejected re are re already reaching the other plate so by supporting them we cannot increase their value we can just increase uh, the kinetic energy by applying some external electric field which will push them further with greater speed so k of electron will eject but the number of electrons which are ejected per second is simply a function of intensity of light falling so it will not increase by adding an additional electric field so i will remain same kinetic energy of electron will increase hence the stopping potential will increase and lambda naught lambda naught is simply dependent on the material so the material is not changed so it will also not change hence the only correct option is option b in the next question in which of the following situation the heavier of the two particle has smaller de broglie wavelength and uh, when the two particles have same speed same linear momentum same k and fallen through the same height so as we already know that uh, de broglie wavelength is nothing but h by momentum we can say if v1 and v2 are same in option a it is given that they are same so we can say lambda is inversely proportional to mass so heavier will have smaller wavelength in the next part their momentum is constant or, or same it is given so when their momentum is same then h is a universal constant so it will also remain same and lambda 1 will be equal to lambda 2 in the third part it is given that their kinetic energy so we have replaced momentum by and root 2 mke so if their kinetic energies are same we can say lambda is simply uh, 
inversely proportional to root n again so heavier mass will have a smaller wavelength when they have fallen through the same height they will have same speed so we come back to option a hence the heavier wavelength uh, heavier mass will have smaller wavelength so the correct options are a c and d thank you